Welcome to Spiritism Explored and Explained, where we take you on a journey of discovery of the other side, the spirit realm, the universe from which you came and shall return. Why are earth dates hard to pin down for spirits? That is a question we answer now. While the episodes you must travel through are predetermined, the exact timing is not. All of us live predetermined lives, lives meant to teach us valuable lessons and to atone for past wrongs. But within those lives, variables can change, causing the needed factors to not be aligned. Hence, an event should have occurred may have to be put off or even canceled. It all depends on constantly dynamic circumstances. Therefore, when people expect specific dates from spirits, they are unable to answer with confidence. Instead, they try to anchor an event with another event. This, plus the addition that time is different or actually non-existent in the spirit room, makes the job of pinning down a time on Earth extremely problematic. An example of the complexity of referencing time on Earth to the spirit world, there is an interesting segment from a book, A Wander in the Spirit Lands by the Spirit Francesco. The medium who transcribed the book was A. Farnese. The book was published in 1896. My spiritist friend in Brazil, Geraldo Goulart, sent me the PDF of the book. The spirit Francesco asked his spirit mentor how long the task would take him to finish. He wanted to know the length of time in relation to earth time. This is what he was told. No, it will last but a short time, two or three weeks of earth time. For behold, as I shadow it forth to you, I see following it fast the image of your, of your returning spirit, showing that the two events are not separated by a wide interval. In the spirit world, where time is not reckoned by days or weeks or counted by hours, we judge of how long an event will take to accomplish or when an occurrence will happen by seeing how near or far away they appear, and also by observing whether the shadow cast by the coming event touches the earth or is yet distant from it. We then try to judge as nearly possible of what will be its corresponding time as measured by earthly standards. Even the wise of us may not always be able to do this with perfect correctness. Thus, it is as well for those who communicate with friends on earth not to give an exact date for foreseeing events, since many things may intervene to delay it and thus make the date incorrect. An event may be shown to be very near, yet instead of continuing to travel to the mortal at the same speed, it may be delayed or held in suspense and sometimes even turned aside altogether by a stronger power than the one which set it in motion. I have not seen a better explanation of the difficulty of dating events to earth time than the one above. Imagine living in a world where time doesn't move forward, only change of status. In other words, things do happen. People learn, people meet new friends, people's spirits go on missions to earth, but the clock doesn't move forward. It doesn't move because time doesn't advance. Plants don't decay, houses don't fall down over time, and bridges don't rust. Objects are altered when the spirit wills them to change, not because years have passed. Then you toss in that a spirit must determine the current approximate time on earth at the moment someone is asking for a future date. The event must be correlated with a future event that may or may not occur which then must be translated into another time and date on Earth. One then begins to understand the complexity of supplying an answer that we on Earth think should be relatively easy. I dive deeper into how the future is presented to us in my set of three books, where I document the spirit writing sent to the Reverend G. Val Owen. The first book in this series is Heaven and Below, Book One of Spiritism, as told to an Anglican vicar. The second book in the series is Spirits in the Spirit Universe. And the third book in the series is How We Are Guided by Spirits. All of these books will explain to you how the spirit realm works, what the process is, what our place is within it, how that is our home where we live the vast majority of our immortal lives. God bless.